welcome back to Measure and Mix. I am here today with my best friend and we are going to make shampoo bars for the first time because she buys them at Lush and she loves them, but we're trying to save money. I'm broke. <laughs> she just moved out with her boyfriend and yeah, and I have always wanted to try making these, so we thought we would give it a go. So we found a recipe on Pinterest and we're gonna show you how we do it. So let's see how it turns out. Okay, so here are the ingredients that you need to make the shampoo bar. There's some clear glycerin soap base, which comes in two pounds, but you only need a quarter of that. So we've already cut a chunk off for us to use. And then you need some shea butter, which we just got from Target. Then next you need some coconut oil, and we just have some organic, unrefined coconut oil. And then you need some olive oil, which I have in my cute little olive oil container here from Rachel Ray. Uh, next, you need some oils of your choice, but we are following the recipe. So we have peppermint, we have melaleuca, which is like tea tree oil, and then wild orange. And then also we have a spray bottle with vinegar. And then we have some sea salt, it just said sea salt, but all I had was pink Himalayan sea salt, so that's what we're going to use. And then we have two oranges here, and then we have our zester, and a bowl, and some measuring spoons, and then lastly we have our mold for everything. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first step is to cut your glycerin soap base into cubes. And it's really nice because they already come with like these little lines, so it'll be easy to cut. Oh, it's super easy. And then they, we will put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. All right, so this is what it looks like when you get it out of the microwave after 30 seconds. And now we're gonna add the shea butter and the coconut oil and put it back in the microwave for another 30 seconds to melt everything together. All right, now I'm just going to zest my two oranges to put in the soap base. All right, so now that all the oils are melted together, which we had to actually melt the oil for about a minute, um, just to make sure everything was all melted together, we are going to add the sea salt, which that is a tablespoon full. And then we're going to add the oils, the peppermint oil, 10 drops. I have to keep stirring it because the salt kind of clumps together. And then the orange oil. And then the Melaleuca. 10 drops of each of these. And then lastly, we're going to add the orange zest to it all. All right, next step is to add the vinegar to the molds and just spray each mold with some. And then we are just going to add the soap base to the molds. All right, and the last step is just to spray the uh, base with some of the vinegar so that way it doesn't bubble. And then we're gonna wait an hour 
and we'll be back. All right, guys, so it's been over an hour now. So we're gonna go ahead and take the soaps out and see how they look. Ooh. All right, they look really good. You, they, you can't see the bubbles at the um, at the top or whatever, just on the bottom. So yeah. I think these turned out oh, really good. Oh, I like them. Cute. Nice. All right, guys, I think these turned out really well. Um, a few tips, though, because we got some bubbles on the back of ours. Um, to have all of your ingredients prepared because the uh, soap sets up really quickly. So you gotta work fast, have everything prepared, and don't stir too much, because I think that was another reason. Um, anything else? No, I think they're super cute. I can't wait to try it. I know, I can't wait to try it too. Do it tonight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, all right guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys next time. Take care, bye. bye. <laughs>